what is your plans for the future? And then how can we help maybe move you towards those plans? Well, I think that I'm trying to kind of maybe switch up my full, you know, my wholesale plan, wholesale, wholesaling, you know, pays my bills. Yep. You know, kind of thing. And I've been doing it long enough that it doesn't thrill me as much. You know, Gary Keller talks about, and I used to be a Keller Williams agent, talks about an entrepreneur gets restless about every 10 years. Yeah. I think back to my life as a mechanic at about the 10, 12 year mark, I was restless, which led me to hurting my back, which led me to real estate. I was an REO broker for about 10 and okay. wholesaling for about 12. So it's like, I'm ready to kind of make a, make a level up in some way. So I'm trying to transition out of that into more, you know, a lot of guys are running at multifamilies. I think that I'm, tr you know, trying to maybe look for large portfolios of singles from, from some tired landlords. Yep. Being able to get good at that acquisition side and analyzing it. Um, I'm in the process of underwriting one now. And I've learned so much in the last two, three weeks of how to look at that, yep. and see it and how to how to do the numbers because I'm so used to the mail, right? Yep. ARV times 65% minus repairs. I've yep. been doing that. I can do that in my sleep. Um, so doing it with a with with income producing assets is a different animal for me. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done it before, but not at a high level. Yeah. So, you know, if you if you come across a landlord who's got 20, 30 houses that he's just trying to unload because he's ready to get out of the business and he's looking to take terms, you know, land contract or seller financing of some sort, I'm all ears. Um, I'm mm -hmm. very good at, you know, you know, deal structure, you know, especially with seller financing. Mm -hmm. And if you come across deals with sellers that, you know, you can't pay that much cash and you need some help to figure out how to buy that house, you know, with some creative financing, give me a shout. Um, and I guess I, I could have probably put my cell phone number up there. I didn't think that you would do that, but, or you could do that. Um, yeah. Reach out to me at 586-413-6190. That's my cell phone, 586-413-6190. You text me and say, hey, Ron, got a minute? And just if I don't, if you've, we've never met or whatever, just remind me your name and yep. I'll tell you when I can call you back, have a conversation. I have a calendarly link, you know, that I can send to you that has my calendar for a 30 minute free consultation. I'll send that. I can send that to you if I'm busy for the next day or so. And we can set up a, a bonafide time to meet or to talk on the phone, um, you know, kind of thing. If you want me to go on an appointment with you, I have another link for that. That sets it all up, gives me all the details. Um, mm -hmm. If I go with you, it's gonna cost you half the deal. You know, if I go with you in the house and talk about it, it's gonna cost you half your your fee. I, that, I think that's fair. Um, yep. And so, I mean, at the end of the day, to answer your question, I'm trying to transition into some more, you know, maybe wholesaling those portfolios you know, which I'm very good at wholesaling, obviously, Yep. you know, to get bigger, to get bigger fees with less work. Right? So, so you're looking to wholesale the bigger deals, not necessarily keep them for yourself. Well, it depends. It just, yeah. depends. it just depends on the deal. Yeah. And I've got, I've got an agenda to collect some cash. You know, I've got, some, uh, I've got some baggage to take care of that. I'm trying to, you know, glean that off quickly. It's easier to, if you can get a hundred thousand dollar commission or a, a fee, it goes quicker than selling ton of them, right? Yep. Um, so that's kind of my agenda initially, but I would like to get some cash flow. I'm not a, I'm not a bona fide cash flow guy, but I can see the value in it. You know, in regards to cash flow every month, and you know, looking at things from purely like how much do I make in a month as opposed to the cap rate. You mm -hmm. know, it does matter. You know, if you, if you have a hundred houses and you make 200 grand a month and the, the values are low or high, the, the, there's a whole, whole different way to look at things. Yeah. Also the de depreciation as well. So, and, and, and not to add to the way to do, I'm, I'm also looking to get into some assisted living facilities, meaning okay. like six to 10 beds, as opposed to not necessarily the big stuff. Yeah. It seems the bigger stuff is more memory care and medical end of life kind of stuff. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm more yep. 
but then like foster care where mm. you have six to ten beds in a house in a neighborhood and they have their own caregivers and things like that i'd like to find some properties like i don't want to be the operator I want to own the real estate and sublease right. the operator. That's you don't want it to be like a 10 unit apartment building. You more want it to be like a house with 10 bedrooms or right. two houses with five bedrooms each, you right. know? Yeah. And of course there's a very specific look to an assisted living house, right? They're usually right. on slabs. You don't need a basement in a house like that. They usually yep. have big circle driveways for all the parking. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they're built side by side. So that you can have more beds with less with less exposure in a sense right to right. have a big 10 bed building is a different animal than mm -hmm. to have two six beds um and the licensing is different and the stuff you have to do is different and so but my point is is i'm i'm trying to learn how to do the assisted living and to analyze big portfolios so i'm on the hunt to learn that well so that I can kind of, I can take the wholesale business and hand it off to, you know, some staff I have that just pays the bills and gives us a decent, you know, that's awesome passive stuff. I'm I'm looking more for the wholesaling side to be the passive thing, not the not the rentals at the moment. Yep, that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, so I'm I'm trying to learn more about how to underwrite apartment buildings. Yeah, it's and a, it's an art to do that. It's it's very hard and everyone seems to be different and it, yeah. it's all area based as well, you know, like, right. you know, what I might pay per door in Royal Oak is going to be different way it's going to be in, in White Lake. You know? For sure. 100%. So, yeah. um, it's kind of like, okay, well, how do you figure that out? You know, there's not too many comps, you know, so. It's, well, there's, I mean, comps for uh, multifamily stuff that's not, you're not going to find a comp, it's all income based. Yeah. So how much does it make based on your cash in? Exactly. And, and That's like, I'm trying to learn all that. You know, and like we learned at that meetup on Saturday, yep. you know, he uses a 10% cash on cash return instead of a cap rate. Yeah. So you got to do one or the other. You have to be yep. able to evaluate that property's value. And of course, at the end of the day, what you want to do is get money out, right? Mm -hmm. you, you buy the discount, fix it and then refi it out to get your money back out with some cheaper long-term financing for it to cash flow right that's the yeah the whole process that's what you do yeah or if you do that or if you find um you know somebody who's willing you know what i'll give you your price if you do the seller finance deal. yeah for sure yeah you know mm -hmm. where i don't have to do that i don't have to refinance you out and we just yeah. give, you give me the terms that i want you know right so and that's an art negotiating stuff like that's a whole different thing than standing in front of a stressed out seller <laughs> you, you know yeah. family house it's just different it's a different sophistication to that seller when they mm -hmm. own apartments you know because they they didn't get that apartment building because they're a regular homeowner right they have right sophistication to them already and, and the people who they do that mainly they actually know what seller financing is and they do right. you know they're and they have a specific goal whether they're choosing not to do it or to do it is because maybe they need to get into something else you know right so for cash other project for sure exactly yep you know we can put out there like however they can get a hold of you say your number again just so that people can uh, get a hold of you five eight six four one three six one nine zero okay I, my email address is ron ron at waymarkhomes.com okay i prefer you text into email um or maybe you can text me that you emailed me um yeah. i get a lot of email because it's just coming and going and mm -hmm. every couple months i just unsubscribe to 30 emails in a day because it just kind of gets out of hand so i would rather Generally, if on my phone, I sit down at night and go through my phone, and if there's a text I didn't respond to, then I do, right? Because it's just kind of easier. Gotcha. And I learned just recently, I learned that on an iPhone, you can actually take the text and make it unread. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. I, that was like, that was like my find of the week. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I just not read it because I, how do you unread it? Or read yeah. it. And I realize that you can like hold it down, the little menu comes up and it says yep. spread. Yeah. Just like your email. <laughs> yeah. 
and, and you can actually put people in a like a in a bubble so like say you haven't talked to somebody in a week in, in a while but they're the main people you talk to be but you've had like 20 different texts you can keep them up at the top oh didn't know so that. Like, like for instance your wife your if they call if they call that phone um you can keep them up at the top and then any text message or anything like that it'll just show the notification there yeah my wife had to teach me that so. <laughs> <laughs> i have special tones for my wife and my kids yeah you know because so i don't because if they're normal when i just someone ignore it initially gotcha it's because it's just always going off but when i hear that one from my wife then i usually look at the phone right you know because she's obviously texting me for a reason you know so so, so terry terry asked about the meetup and it, on thursday at mcvee's pub in troy 18 and 18 in uh, rochester right? 18 in rochester um and they have it's it starts at 6 30 but you get there right around six and maybe get some food and then it's just all it is is a meet and greet yeah. there's no speakers or anything like that it's just a, a meet and greet so it i actually really like those type of meetups and i'm actually i'm in talks with trying to talk with some other people about creating my own meetup um you know either that or doing an event just a big event yeah for sure oh so, um but it's still just in the talking stages at the moment so um but if i there's two different sides to that whether we do a meetup or whether we do a full out event where i have like i bring like 10 people out to speak and so on and so forth so you know back last it reminds me back last march i did an eight hour boot camp wholesaling boot camp that i have eight hours of video um if you reach out to me i'll give you a pay link and you can pay me because i'm kind of reselling it um, okay and uh so if you just reach out to me through that text and say hey ron can i have that you know we'll go back and forth uh i won't disclose the price here just because i don't if i sure. change my mind um but uh if you reach out to me that way i'll i'll you know just send you the dropbox mm -hmm. pay me um and I've been thinking about, you know, I haven't really kind of disclosed this to anybody, was doing like a, uh, uh, like a uh, role playing class. Yeah. Right. So we're, you know, I've got hundreds of hours of audio of yep. recorded phone calls with sellers that could be very beneficial. And we just sit in a room and let's role play. Me be the mean seller and you be the, you know, the, the, the new wholesaler and let's talk about it. That's oh. one thing that Todd Chun, I, I did with Todd Chun was it? uh, it's a boiler room. Yeah. And of course, Todd was good at that. To, you know, he doesn't do that so much anymore, but get no. well, he, he calling people. Yeah, he does it with his with his students. Oh, okay. He does it with his students. He, he just saves it for with his students for versus everybody. Yeah. So, um, you know, but that's something definitely I, I think that adds value and um, if you want to do something like that, I, I'd definitely be interested in uh, working something with you, and then we can charge a fee to come in there, and you know, it'd be a, a, a Saturday class or something like that. Yeah, the boot camp I did, I actually fed them. I did a yeah. Juanus Club in Clawson, and it was cheap. The room was cheap, and the lady made the food and subs, and it was it was a good, and got eight hours of content on YouTube. Yeah and uh, a zoom call or a zoom link that got recorded so um but anyway yeah just reach out to me yep we'll see and now i'll just we'll talk about it right. and then terry s uh, the group that we're talking about it's a metro detroit real estate investors group that's the meetup for that so um but just to let you know on that, hey, we're talking about making new things, doing new things, and you know, keep looking looking out on our Facebook group as well as anything that we post out, and we'll keep you guys informed on what we come up with. So, um, as well as obviously, we're here every week. So I'm happy to you know, obviously, we, as we announce it, we're going to share it here, probably here first. So. 
uh you know charles i appreciate you watching every week and you know he said i uh, he watches live always and he said thanks ron for pouring <laughs> for pouring into us so you know um but we really appreciate it and i hope you guys had you know got some great um information out of this and we'll see you next week uh, on the next broadcast all right all right bye-bye okay yeah.